What's up guys? This is Detail Jesus Savage Sam here. We have a white Model S here. It's an older generation, I believe a 2014. And man, it has some fucked up ass shit on it. So we're going to go around and pick apart this old Model S that actually looks like uh, this is probably one of the worst paint jobs I've ever seen from Tesla. It does not look like it's been repainted, uh, but there's some insane shit, which hopefully we can capture on camera. Let's start with this abnormally large panel gap right here. Uh, I can fit a good portion of my finger in here and we go over to this side and I cannot fit as much of my finger in here. There's a pretty decent gap. Right there, Tesla is always known for panel gap. And I've known some customers that have lemon their Teslas. And I mean, this was, you know, back in the day when Tesla really didn't know what they were doing. So this car probably has some good shit on it. Um, bumper popping out, fucking paint nib, paint nib. Let's see what else we got here. Super. Super texture bumper, terrible looking paint job. Holy shit. Fuck Tesla's like oh, more paint nibs. Let's see. Can I get the, can I get these on camera? Oh yeah. Look at that dull paint. Oh, and you can see rotary pigtails everywhere. See those little little lines right there. If you follow the light, little rotary pigtails all over. And it's not like in the clear coat. It shit's like in the fucking paint. So it's probably underneath the clear. But you can see all these little dots and divots and everything. Some of them are rock chips. Bumper sticking out a good amount. We got this big old thing right there. Let's see what else we got here. Can't tell what that one was. So we're doing some paint correction to this car since they volunteered. Let's just check is the gap on this side the same. Let's see. Oh, no, it's a little bit tighter over here, actually. You know, my finger feels a little bit more uh, tight getting in there. That's <clears throat> what your mom said last night. So uh, let's see, can we get this one without out light? No, not really, but that's all pigtailed up too. So here, sorry, getting blurry here. Uh, here's another Tesla that back in the day had tons of shit wrong with it. <clears throat> Just like looking at some of these edges here. Ooh, it feels flat right here. Like there's no clear, same with inside the gap. Tesla just loves to put out bullshit. So I'm inside the Model S. This one doesn't have the thing that the newer ones aggravate me with. You can see how fast you're going from the driver's seat. You don't have to look over at the iPad over here. <clears throat> this was when Teslas were kind of good. Back when we had like the P100D with the ludicrous speed mode, that shit was pretty cool. They still have shitty ass paint jobs and everything, but I like the interior better on the older ones. Feels more like a regular car. I can get down with that as much as I hate the crappy paint work on these cars. And I have heard that the older ones batteries last quite a long time. So I will be nice and say that but I just like can never believe like how some of these cars look leaving the factory. Like, why do you guys accept delivery of this shit? You should just deny the delivery. I think if you're going to buy a Tesla all since the beginning of Tesla, you should have brought a professional detailer with you to check that shit out because most of them look like shit and I've helped a few people in the past go look at their Tesla and tell them whether the paint looks like shit or not and if they should reject it. Um, but you should, you should bring someone who knows paint if you're going to buy one of these cars. Uh, cause even though they're fast and fun and handle pretty all right and 
are fairly priced for what they are, you are getting a lot of stuff wrong with the vehicle too. That's not just paintwork or panel gap. There's other shit that goes wrong. We've heard so many stories over the years, but always be careful when you're shopping for Tesla. And we've heard their customer service is terrible from just about every customer who owns one. Uh, so make sure you bring someone with you to check your shit out or become educated on how to look for this stuff. Uh, the light that I use to see stuff is called a Astro. It's like 50 bucks on Amazon. Uh, we use it for seeing swirls and shit too. So you can see how swirly the paint is on the car first. This one is older, so we can't judge swirls because it's not brand new off the showroom floor. But we have some brand new off the showroom floor ones coming soon. Uh, so we will be doing some content with those as well. But as always, I advise you should be very careful when buying one of these cars, especially if you care a lot about the paint. Because if you are a really picky person, you're not going to be happy with it. And when you come get PPF uh, from us or anyone else out there, because this is, you know, worldwide, uh, and then you see little pieces of dirt or dust or whatever, or they look like that underneath the film. I mean, there's a lot of shitty PPF installers out there, but chances are all of that dirt is actually just dirt that's in your paint or it's paint nibs. Um, and I hate when people challenge me on that shit because we're really, really anal about no debris under our PPF or film work here. Uh, and so I just tell people, if I pull it off and it's in the paint, you're gonna pay a second time. But if it is actual dirt, then it's on the house. And most of the time they're like, oh, okay. And then they believe me finally. But no one ever wants to believe you because they want to nitpick everything, but they don't know their own goddamn car. You guys go pick this shit up new and you don't even know like what it looks like. You're so excited to buy a new car that you don't think to check out the thing that you just spent like 50 plus thousand dollars on. If I was going to spend that kind of money, I would look at what I was getting thoroughly before I take that shit home. So all I can say, guys, is be careful of that shit because you can get ripped off on paint and it's a nightmare to deal with paint with Tesla because they're gonna send it to a worse body shop because they only use cheap ass chain shops and it's gonna be months or without your car. You're just open a giant can of worms when nothing looks the same anyway anymore. So check this shit out before you even drive the car away so that you can tell them to fuck off. Anyway, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you learned something from this or just enjoyed seeing how shitty uh, Tesla quality is. Their build quality is absolutely horrible. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe and sign up for the notifications. If you're old on our channel, thank you for watching and supporting us. And please don't unsubscribe. Anyway, this is a Detail Jesus signing off.